appeared this morning at the double glazing place where they actually make doors but they've also got some old ones um, up for sale around the place. We've picked out this one for the storeroom because it's got the uh, obscured glass, uh, it's got a lock and the frame comes with it. They're charging us 100 euros for an, this aluminium door which um, seems fair, I mean that's at 92 pounds or something. Um, <clears throat> we've seen similar doors in the big box store for getting on for 300 so um, we think 90 quid is probably a fair price. It's only for the storeroom anyway. Yeah it's only for the storeroom. It's not ugly or anything, it's um, not an unattractive door, give it a clean up and uh, yeah just got to get it in the van now. We're waiting for the guy to pay him the money and uh, he's going to do something with the lock, we're not quite sure. <laughs> Yeah, he's brought something he's with it. behind you and he's bringing the screwdriver. Okay. You love her, that's no extra cost. No, not that. <laughs> oh, it's easy peasy. That's how you change the lock. Yeah, I reckon he's done a few of those before, so. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oi. So that's um So that's our, our new door, kinda like new door. <laughs> Newish door. Okay. That's the way it's gotta be. We're on a budget, we've got to stick to our budget. I didn't know you have a budget today. <laughs> <laughs> this is your random purchase of today. Budget. It's known as small. <laughs> I've got to figure out what to do about because at the moment that's got all. <coughs> <coughs> the doorway is too low at the moment to look for a full size door. <coughs> Hi, good afternoon. Here we are in the stable storeroom. 
um, in front of me there you or behind me you should, you'll see the window surround um, I'm going to frame that out now with some wood kindly uh, supplied by Dean and Co and um, we should be able to lay into that our, our perspex so um, I'm going to try and make it nice and strong and uh, I'll film the whole process and uh, you can follow along screw down. What I'm going to do, I'm going to run a bead of uh, mortar along this front edge because it's uh, a bit rough and ready at the moment and uh, I've already got it mixed up so that should be a fairly straightforward operation. Before I do that, let's check the level. No, the old level. Yeah, so as you can see this is from the outside I've got the top of the frame in now and both sides and a, a center post so um, just got to line those up a little bit I ended up uh, making them a dead size and hammering them in so uh, that's all nice and tight but uh, I might have been a bit premature on my uh, mortar in that bottom one because that's a little bit uh, moved and uh, cracked now so I'll remortar that tomorrow once everything's in position and screw tight Hi, good morning today I'm framing out with this uh, beautifully squared off wood to lay our uh, perspex up against on this side and then I can put another piece to sandwich it in the middle. We'll uh, make sure everything's uh, sealed with um, silicon sealant before we screw up tight. But this is just a test fit. I'm just gonna fire three screws in for this top rail. And uh, once I've got all, all four sides, I'll uh, measure up for our glass and um, take it off again and, and then seal it. Try and keep as much weather out as possible. <laughs> Whoops. Now I can take my measurement from there on each side. 
obviously this whole room's a little bit like that so you have to try and get everything uh, square which I spot on so I'm pleased with that tape measures. I don't know if you guys at home are like this, but if I had 50 tape measures, whenever I wanted to use one, I wouldn't know where it was. And I've actually just spotted it. It's back outside, so uh, perhaps I can ask the camera lady to pass the... Um, oh, yeah. Thank you. going to allow a little bit for very hot, very cold, everything moves a little bit in those temperatures, uh, which is why they use metal here a lot for doors and window frames, and not so much wood. But we work with what we've got, and um, hopefully it'll uh, be a good job at the end. So I've affixed the uh, framing in for our perspex to go up against. I'm going to run a nice bead of uh, silicone all the way around this one. I'm going to start with this one. What I don't want to do is put any screws through the perspex. From better experience, you start getting cracking and that type of thing. So um, I'm hoping. This is called Walden, sorry, Walden, Voldemort, window and door frame, acrylic sealant. This is it's paintable and it's weather resistant. So uh, I brought this with me from the UK just for this type of job. Give it a nice bead, especially in the corner. Appreciate you can't see that from there, but you perhaps see this one. Hoping this will uh, seal and uh, glue the perspex in. It's going to have a, an outer bead as well. I'm not sure if I've got enough scrap wood at this stage to do that, so I might actually have to buy a small amount of beading to uh, finish this side off. Quite so easy above your head. I've cut the perspex so it's a relatively tight fit. We've got a little bit of leeway. to myself earlier because it took took nearly an hour to peel off the uh, protective layer that these come with. And I thought well I built like the frame in less than that less time than that.
too much on here and there, but I can go the other side with a damp rag and tidy that up. Tiny off cut of bead in here, I'm going to use just to hold that in place so the uh, breeze doesn't blow it out or anything silly like that. have that all the way around. East London accent coming out of there. Um, yeah that'll be, uh, I think that'll be pretty secure although it's only Perspex. Um, it's obscured as well which is, it's not a permanent option but it's, um, it's the option for now. Fitting the second window in, put the bead around, and uh, hopefully, this is a nice tight fit as well. Not sure how good this sealant is, it's um, I think I bought it in the range. In England? In England, yeah. How much is it? Was it? I'm going to say two ninety nine a tube. <laughs> so it's not a pound. So, you know, <laughs> you go in B&Q and it's um, eight ninety nine a tube. Say make or not? No. But how different can it be, you know? I'm sure it's all made in one silicon factory. It's only temporarily anyway. Temporary. Yeah. Yeah, I think I made that point earlier, this is a, a just a for now thing. I'm just going to screw this in just to hold it in place while the silicon sets off a bit. Good morning! You're running. It's a bit chilly when we first woke up this morning, at 8 o'clock, quite late really. Um, so I put this on, but I'm too hot for this now, but I'll cut this piece of wood first and, uh, and change into a t-shirt. The, um, the storeroom stable started to frame out the other openings in that room, and we're um, filling the frame with uh, OSB as a cheap temporary option. We didn't want to start bricking it up only to later have to knock all those bricks down again. So uh, the other good thing about OSB is because it's a storeroom we can uh, screw to it, hang things up, make shelves a lot easier than you can drilling into to brick and what have you, plus you, you know my brick laying. So, um, yeah, OSB is it's not a thing of beauty, but give it a coat of paint and uh, it's a good temporary solution. What are you doing today, Jen? I'm strimming down the bottom of the... Um, strimming? Garden. You'll look like a strimmer, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to get out of early, I think. Get a bit done before it gets too hot. Jen? Yes, I do agree. That's why I get up early. <laughs>
so you could just support that end while I saw through this. Okay, I'm not too sure how well you're seeing this, whether it's um, silhouette or whatever. But, um, so we have these two large openings on this side between stable one and stable two. Um, this was a nice solid piece of uh, scrap wood that's um, doing as a mantle. And uh, same at the top. I actually bought these posts at the big box store so we've got something straight and square but even then <laughs> it's a bit of this and a bit of that to try and get something what I'm going to do on this side is going to keep this a lot more simple I'm going to um, go across with my OSB which is one I made earlier screw directly onto those posts Uh, the same again at the top so, and then um, put some noggins behind those to screw into and then put OSB on the other side so it'll be sort of a double thickness if you like um, yeah really simple just keeping it simple which is uh, a description of me really pieces of this perspex left over, little odds and sods. So I thought, you know, let some extra light in. Might as well make that into a, a little light box up in that corner. Trusty Sikaflex that we've used a lot on the van. Um, it's the greatest stuff you can buy in my opinion. No sponsorship from Sikaflex but they sent me 10 tubes of this, I'll be over the moon. <laughs> Costs around 10 or 11 pound a tube. But it does it all. It's an adhesive. It's um, a cedar. It's the best one I've ever found. Ideally I wouldn't have done this with black, but black's all I've got. So it's going to be covered in a uh, wood trim anyway, so the black will never show. Okay. set off for a while and uh, I'll put some trims on after. Yeah so just a piece of trim to go there, Sikaflex that as well.
certain pleasure in uh, using recycled materials. I mean, a lot of this wood from Dino was um, destined for the skip. So, um, again, I'm reiterating, although it's not a thing of great beauty, it's uh, certainly doing the job we want it to do and saved us a massive cost. Yeah, so I've just um, put this piece of trim across here with one screw from this side. I'll go. Oh, the trimming. I'll go to the other side now and fix that through. That will secure the bottom end of that perspex, and then I'll do the same at the top. And then I'll uh, pretty much box the side, box this side in with uh, OSB, the same as I have on the front side. Just finishing fixing in these windows on three sides on this one. Probably. So, uh, 95 is a piece I made earlier. By chance, it's spot on 95. No chance. Whack through holes through this. Carefully measured by Pythagoras approximationist. Um, I don't know if you do this, but count the sinking. I just put a big drill in and run it backwards, so it makes a count. That doesn't drill all the way through the wood in two seconds flat. There you go. So. Back to the drill bit, no, the screwdriver bit. Three screws. Okay. When I first got here, I went to the big box store and bought about a million screws in every size because I knew all this work was coming, and there's nothing worse than uh, scraping one of the screws. Encased window. <laughs> Handy, I had that piece of wood the right size. <laughs> <laughs> 